Aloha. I'm Eric Anderson, pastor of Church of the Holy Cross, United Church of Christ in Hilo, Hawaii. And here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the 22nd chapter of Matthew's Gospel, a continuation of what we've been hearing in the lectionary over these last few weeks. Jesus having conversations with some of his most significant opponents. He spoke with them in the temple in the days following his triumphant entry into Jerusalem, which also means that it is in the days just prior to his arrest and execution. Several of these conversations followed attempts to trap him in some kind of unpopular saying or a saying that could be used to have him arrested. This is precisely one of those. It came from some Pharisees and some Herodians, and the question to our eyes seems rather odd. Should you pay taxes to the emperor or not? For most of us, paying taxes to a government which, by and large, provides services and protections that we appreciate, we may resent how much we pay, although, frankly, Americans are not all that highly taxed compared to other uh, developed nations in the world. We may com complain about how much we pay in taxes, but we do understand that there is a role to government and to the contributions of government from citizens. The situation was much different in the first century because people like Jesus, people like the Pharisees and Herodians who asked them this question, they lived in an occupied nation. They were subject to the rule of a foreign land, a foreign emperor, a foreign Caesar. So was it lawful, that is, was it consistent with the faith of Israel to pay taxes to a foreign overlord? You see the problem. Because, of course, if you said, no, it is not lawful, well, then the Roman soldiers might get interested. And if he said, yes, it is lawful, well, the many people who resented living under foreign occupation and domination, they might get upset and their unhappiness could easily translate into violence. It's quite a good trap. Jesus said, whose picture is on the coin? Well, it was Caesar's. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, said Jesus. Give to God what is God's. It seems like we've spent the centuries in between debating on what, in fact, Caesar or government is entitled to. The answers to the question shift an awful lot depending on what kind of government is in place. The striking thing to me is that the answer to what is God's is both easier and more challenging. Because Psalm 24 said it awfully clearly. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and all that dwell therein. Give to God what is God's give to God everything. Give to God industry and loyalty. Give to God integrity and righteousness. Give to God charity and compassion. Give to God care for our neighbors because God has made it very clear that that is one of the things expected of us.
I, I can't omit the truth that within just two or three days of saying this, Jesus gave everything, he gave his life itself. Give to God what is God's. Give to God your whole heart. That's what I'm thinking. I'm curious to hear what you're thinking. Send me an email or leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. From Church of the Holy Cross, UCC in Hilo, Hawaii, that's what I'm thinking.